What's up guys, JB2017 here, and I am continuing my coverage of the Automatron trailer that Bethesda released yesterday. The DLC is just a week away, and there's still plenty throughout the trailer that we can take a closer look at. And this is all news to you, I made an analysis video yesterday that summarizes everything new in the trailer, so link in the description below if you guys are interested. Today, however, we're going to focus on the new weapons that were shown off, and all three look very cool and very exciting. The first weapon shown is what I'm going to go ahead and call the saw blade, and we only have very short clips of these weapons, so I'm going to slow them down and freeze some frames in order to show you all what's going on. Clearly, it's a long pole, very robotic looking, and attached to the top is some kind of saw blade, and I'm going to go ahead and throw on the screen right now a picture of what a Mr. Handy saw blade looks like. Clearly, you can tell what the inspiration was taken from. I think it's pretty safe to say that we're going to have to go and scavenge for Mr. Handy parts and get this blade in order to craft this weapon. The joints line up, the little part where it connects to the center of the spinning blade line up. It just makes sense. Later on in the trailer, we get another look at this weapon actually in action this time, and we can see how it's going to be used. Pretty much, you just hold it in front of you, and the blade spins and cuts through whatever you're attacking. I would imagine this is going to be used in the same way as the Ripper. You're just going to hold it in front of you hold down the trigger and the blade will spin and attack your enemy we don't know if we're going to be able to like swipe the entire pole at our enemies kind of like you would with grognax axe we don't really know how it's going to be used like in that sense it'd be nice if we had more than just holding it in front of us but nonetheless i hope it's a really powerful you know unique melee weapon because right now we pretty much have krem's tooth which gets you know which pretty much takes care of everything it's like krem's tooth or pikmin's blade that's pretty much the top two that you have in the game right now it'd be nice to have you know another weapon in the mix that's actually viable and really really strong i've seen people compare this weapon to the likes of the mauler obviously from the pit in Fallout 3, that DLC, but it was more of a heavy duty weapon that was pretty much a ripper variant. At least you use rippers to repair it, I think, from my memory. But, you know, the Mauler is a similar type of weapon. It's probably going to operate in a similar way. But of course, we've got a giant pole here, which brings me to the knife spear, which is what we had in the Dead Money DLC for New Vegas. So if you imagine a Mauler and a knife spear kind of combined together, I think that's what we're going to get out of the saw blade or whatever it's going to be called in Automatron. Now we're looking at a weapon that really nobody expected to have, and that's what I'm calling for right now the Assaultron Gun. It's an awful name, but I'm sure Bethesda will have a better name for us to call it. But for right now, for all intents and purposes, we can tell that this is a handheld version of the Assaultron Head that murders everything and everyone out in the wasteland. It doesn't matter what level you are, this thing burns through whatever it touches. And to be honest, it makes a lot of sense, since the official description for this DLC says once again that you're hunting down robots and scavenging their parts, it would make sense that we have to hunt down an Assaultron, grab its head and whatever other parts that may be required, and craft our own Assaultron gun. Maybe we're going to find this gun out in the world already made, like the Mechanist has already created it or something like that, but personally, I hope that we have to craft it ourselves because it would have a lot more meaning, at least for me, that way. They show off the weapon one more time briefly in the trailer is so short I have to play it a bunch of times even in slow motion and we get to see the back of it and this is clearly the back of an Assaultron head just looking at this concept art here you can tell it's exactly what the back of an Assaultron head is so there's no dispute it's an Assaultron head gun we're just going to have to see how it works and hopefully it's more powerful than the alien blaster I mean it's not really the same kind of weapon it's more of a laser weapon right because Assaultron head is a laser gun essentially but man I hope it's a lot stronger than that wimpy alien blaster it really did not stand up to some of the other weapons in the game so we can only cross our fingers finally we get a look at this new chain lightning gun that our soul survivor actually gets to use and the reason i point that out and make that distinction is because bethesda has referred to a chain lightning gun but the context was different it was more in the context of your robot companions and their customization are gonna have you know there's gonna be a possibility an option to have them use a chain lightning gun and we kind of see that in other parts of the trailer where we see a robot with kind of a lightning hand and that seems more like what they were talking about i don't think they've actually referred to this weapon before but we are seeing it here in action and clearly it's going to be very powerful it arcs between different robots when they're running at the soul survivor in this gameplay it looks like a very potent weapon i've seen some people call this a rail gun and i don't know if we can exactly call this a rail gun it's not like a railway rifle or anything like that 
And the closest thing that I've kind of seen in Fallout, or what this reminds me of, is the Tesla cannon introduced in Broken Steel. But this weapon, as we can tell so far, functions very differently. It is not kind of a sniper. The Tesla cannon was really like a sniper. It was a very, you know, high, highly focused beam. And this is clearly arcing between enemies. So, well, the Tesla cannon did arc between enemies when it did hit its target, but you guys get what I mean. This seems like more of a weapon that we're going to be able to use in closer range. And also, when you look at the body of the weapon it doesn't seem like it has any discernible parts like the previous two weapons it doesn't seem like we're going to be scavenging for specific you know parts from robots i could be wrong there maybe there are some specific parts and you just can't tell or maybe we'll just find this weapon out in the world but the chain lightning gun whatever it's going to be called whatever cool name bethesda comes up with looks very very awesome very powerful i'm very excited to use it i'd like to hear from you guys after looking at these weapons in this trailer what do you think about them what is your speculation do they make you excited are you excited to use these these weapons are we gonna need to craft all of these weapons really let me know all of what you guys are thinking in the comment section of this video all right guys today we looked at the new weapons coming to the automatron DLC next week and next time we will cover more fallout on my channel so stay tuned for fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new remember to hit that like button I would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage build guides and general tips and tricks videos guys stay tuned on the channel I'm going to be covering a ton of automatron over the next week and of course when it comes out on March 22nd talk to you guys next time peace